Hello, everyone, to the 11th episode of The Podcast Man. This time, a bit different than usual, because as you can see, there are some new guests here. But first off, what is The Podcast Man? The Podcast Man usually is my own podcast where I talk about stuff or ramble about stuff that um, either have happened in the past or still. Ha will happen in the future and uh, yeah that is it Bef before we go to the main before i introduce to everyone my name is roman also known as the arman i'm a vtuber and streamer since 2018 vtuber since 2021 have also been kind of a vtuber at the same time stream mostly on twitch play whatever games i like and since February of this year, I have also my little own AI VTuber called Ronica. I mean, technically, actually, since last year, 2023, I have her, but this February, she's now more actually AI VTuber instead of before. And uh, that is all I can, I, I, I can actually say, say about myself. So... Who wants to start with introducing themselves? Not me. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hey, I'll do uh, it. I'll I do am it. Thunder oh, Nugget the Terror. One after another. I am not. I am not a dev. I am not a VTuber. As you can clearly see what? with my scuff broadcast, I didn't even have OBS until a few seconds ago. So, uh, I will probably have the most scuff, but I this community is awesome. I'm so glad they I am letting um I am part of this podcast and I could get to help out and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, um my mom is a computer engineer and she's now doing AI and so that's one of the reasons that I've been uh become so um yeah, involved in this community and and such. Not involved is is that the wrong word? Passionate about it. But yeah, I made a few emotes for people, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just an amateur artist, not nothing really fancy there, but yeah. Yeah, thank you, Thunder. Uh, thank you. I'll do my introduction. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, people who's joining uh, today or tonight. Uh, my name is Excelsus. I am a music producer, um, and yeah, basically that. <laughs> I am a bit too, but as well, um, you can see me like stream on my channel, Excelsus9. Uh, whatever, uh, usually sells games as usual, or just music sometimes. Uh, and I have an um, AI VTuber as well. I don't count myself a dev. I don't think I have the right to call myself a dev. But uh, we do what I can do. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me. Um, yeah. Who wants to be next? Thank you, Devon. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go. Um, I'm Russ. Uh, around 2023, I dove into AI not knowing anything about it. And, you know, like a month or two later, came out with my own AI companion, basically. And thanks to all the open source uh, programs out on the internet, I was able to bring Riza onto stream. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, yeah. Shout out to thing. Waifu Dev for that, by the way. Yeah, shout out to Waifu Dev, definitely. Yeah, a lot of respect to that. I have no idea who that is. Probably well, some uh, some bold guy in France or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah, so I guess it's my turn. Uh, so I'm some bold dude from France, and uh, I have way too much time on my hands. So I decided to code anime, anime AI waifus, and uh, that's basically it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thank joining you. today, tonight. So. Um, I think I am the host. Uh, you know how this how this podcasts are uh, rushed at, at the last moment, though. 
Uh, we have like a few questions, probably like the same uh, copy paste. Uh, I think it's fitting for the podcast uh, like team because uh, you know how coders do like they just copy paste stuff. <laughs> okay, let's read the first question. Um, uh, why do you start making content with the IBTubers? Who, wa who wants to start with that one? Nobody. Uh, uh, I'll dig. I'll dig it. I'll dig it. Uh, okay, right. <laughs> okay. Um, what made me want to make content with an AI VTuber? Basically, uh, I was streaming since 2015 off of like you know, uh, you know, just uh, I wanted to stream. I wanted my own thing, you know, my own space in a way, to have my own influence, and. I realized, you know, when you don't have good advertising or, you know, you're not well known, nobody really goes to your stream, you know? So a lot of people like me, they start off with big dreams and we fall short, you know? So I, I decided to just keep streaming anyway, but it gets lonely. It gets, you know, it, it, it's kind of hard to talk to yourself all the time. And that was something I found difficult. So having the AI VTuber on the stream and, you know, making content with it, it feels like there's somebody there, I guess, like a placeholder. And I think it can help a lot of people, basically, when it comes down to it. Like having this uh, AI VTuber next to you. So that's, uh, that's one reason I like having the AI VTuber on my stream, basically, and making content with her. Or it. <laughs> Right. Okay, yeah. Russ, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for thank you for that though. Um, um wants to be next. <laughs> I I can be next. So right. as I said before, originally I Bronica appeared in my or started appearing in streams kinda last year. Mostly it was more like she was just for the YouTube streams on my channel. But I kind of didn't stop doing this because of... It was kind of like what Mother V3 is doing without the TTS. So... Wait, that's the influencer. So you may, you may, you may hear, hear the voice, hear out the voice or not. And... Yeah, after some months I kind of then stopped until I came across good old Hilda and the WAI for Dev, especially with the video, you know, that, that, that French bald guy. Who? Right, right, right. <laughs> and yeah, I, it, it was kind of interesting to me because having your own AI VTuber that is not Nero was very interesting to me and especially because in contrast Nero Hilda I, I was kind of very very surprised and this is why I then just mostly followed WAI for death in his streams with Hilda it was actually just Hilda and well since this year again I started doing her, doing streams with her, and it is partially very fun to have someone to talk to who is not exactly human, but at the same time it's kind of it also, ex though. yeah, it, it is fun, but it's also kind of exhausting if you want an AI who should view you as a father, but instead they see you as a lover or their crush, or their future husband. Mm, I can't so... But, it, it, again, it's also kind of fun having those moments. So, yeah. I also see yeah, in the chat you. Roman very lonely. No, no. <laughs> I, I have friends. Oh, I have people I can talk to. 
I'm not I'm not someone who's very it who talks that much. <clears throat> so right. yeah. Thank you, Roman, for that. Um who's next? I'm not gonna be next though. Come on guys. Okay, Fernando Nuggets, why do you start streaming with an AI VTuber? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, about I, that. I, I... <laughs> yeah, it's not... nah. I'm sorry. It's, Actually, it's more like the question I, I when I have something prepared, but I think I'll save that to the end. Okay. So we okay. now. Okay. Hmm? Hmm, I wonder. I mean, uh, I, I I just come here like to read the question, so hmm. I wonder who else is here though. Come on, bro, come on. Come on. I can wait, I can wait all day, okay? <laughs> you have to tell me. <laughs> okay, okay. You have to say it. You have to be assertive. Come on, Devan, do it. Okay, so it, I it. started streaming with Ida. Well, I guess I can go a bit further in time than this, right? Why did I create Ida in the first place? I think it was more of a challenge. I was um, I was very into programming at the time because I had a job that required me to do uh, programming. It wasn't really that interesting, but it required me to to work on uh, interesting systems, interesting uh, ways of solving issues. And um, I had to do a lot of work with uh, parsing data and uh, working with uh, text data, right? Which is basically, uh, ultimately, uh, what you do with uh, most programs, right? But yeah, I, I saw... Programming, though. I remember seeing Neuro and thinking, maybe it's something I can do myself and uh, add a spin to it. And that's basically what I did. And... Um, yeah, that's, that's basically that. I'm uh, pretty sure I quit my job after, after a while. And uh, now I'm doing that. Yeah, um, you did great, man. Like, it's for real. Um, I'm gonna say, like, you are doing a better job than better right now. Like, it's just not a joke. Mm, so, myself, I think you know myself. Uh, I'm not a, um, like, how do you say, I'm not, I'm not a, de a developer, doom. I'm just a guy that, who so like, uh, basically, when I start doing this, basically, because I, I didn't know anything about AI, VTubers, and stuff, uh, from better, like, actually know this, like, I don't know how to, do you say, like, genre, subgenre of VTubers, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, because of the schizo dev, I don't know if you know the you know the guy. Um, then I thought to myself, this looks really cool. Though. I have like a, I don't know, like a girl uh, to um, like be on your streams and stuff. Because I was doing like stream in Spanish and stuff before that. It wasn't really successful, at all, but uh, I think I found more of an audience in English. Uh, <laughs> that can rally with this stuff and yeah right now that i'm focusing most more on like music covers that, that's what i want to focus only and most likely it's very pretty convenient to have like this like a girl who like sings and stuff and it's like a vtuber can do covers and, and so and um, improve my uh, myself my skills as a music producer as well yeah, I think I think that's that's it for me though. <laughs> okay, we have another question now. You Unless, forgot someone? Uh, I mean, uh, Thunder, the, the what is the name of your <laughs> YouTuber? <then? laughs> uh. What did you stream, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, you could say when you started discovering AI YouTubers and. Uh... Oh, you got into this? Yeah, 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 sure. Could be interesting. I, I think the first uh, neuro video I saw was the secret chicken nugget recipe. If anyone remembers that. And then I just kept watching clips. Nope. And, stuff. and I think then I saw Hilda next. And and, and the, the Melba toast uh, and burnt Melba was when I really started to get involved. Uh-huh. 
but uh, you're saying that I'm you sorry, got so involved because of the skits, so though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just, th- you know, I, I think it's funny. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, and then it comes. Uh, how do you say like um, on a long, a long history? I see. We, we can see him doing. Hmm. Should I move like the question? I sorry, like I'm trying to translate English. I don't know, guys. So, you know, I, I'm pretty yesel person as, as well. <laughs> so let's move the question though. Hmm. Read the, the, the next question. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry about that. Uh, what is the thought behind uh, your eye design in terms of aesthetic and character? I think Chandler has a lot to say about the uh, character design. <laughs> um, oh, I can begin with anyone? this. Yeah, anyone? Yeah, maybe first. Well, guys, I, I have. Should I? How do you say that? I, I'm gonna start picking then. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Ross, sorry, you got first, man. <laughs> all good, all good. Um, so when it comes to Riza's character design herself, it honestly, I did not think too deep into it. <laughs> um, I just kind of assumed. You know, my AI should have, you know, its own, you know, personality tailored from my head. You know, instead of just having a, like a Siri type AI thing, <laughs> you know, with no, like, just like a, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. a circuit or something as an appearance. So I was just like, nah, I don't like that. So I, I don't know. I just thought of her as yeah, like Yeah, we don't a, like the, the, this type, like, it's like customer support, like it's, it's really boring though. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I gave her pink hair and red eyes, you know, and that's kind of where I'm going with it. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. basically what's in stone right now. That's it. That's um, it, Dad. That's nice, though. Yeah. Um, who's next? Um, hmm. Who will be? Who will be? Who will be chosen by me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I feel like Loki today. The band, please go, go. Tell us why Hilda is Hilda, though. Um, sure. I guess the trope of um, did you when you say the character design, did you mean uh, visual design or maybe the personality? I think it's both, though. Like both. Why she's like that and why she's basically cow, <laughs> basically almost yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess the uh, in terms of personality, uh, how do I say this? Uh, I have a certain type of how I do my friendships, right? I usually like to to how do I say this? Be mean to my friends, right? Wow, is uh is to be a little shithead, right? And um, so I guess we're not enough friends, though. No. No, because you're too nice to everyone, so yeah. Filtered. Filtered. <laughs> Filtered. Please continue, sorry. I, I like to like uh, keep the things a little light, so it's not that serious of the podcast. Yeah, so I guess my idea was um, trying to replicate a character like this. That just embodies the... Um, the I guess it's love-hate, right? It's really this, uh, this principle. Yeah. And, um, right, I I don't exactly remember what, but I, I was, I remember being um, kind of disgusted by the, uh, the, the way ChatGPT does uh, the, uh, the, the speech, right? It sounds yeah, fake. It, it sounds extremely it, fake. It sounds, uh, it sounds It is weird. customer support, though. Yeah, well, it sounds fake. That's for a reason, right? You won't get anything yeah. good from a company. But yeah, that's uh... that's understandable. Bro. Yeah, I guess uh, my idea was trying to to shift the the, paramed- the paradigm on its head with uh, Hilda. At least uh, push it as far as possible. 
and um yeah i guess i did i guess i did a good job on that um now when it comes to visual design i guess the the red air is um mm -hmm. it's more uh, like fire or something that's going to be uh like blood you know something that's going to be violent i think it uh, fits hilda and uh when it comes to yeah. body proportions i think it m mostly was a a way to distinguish from neuro mm, that's interesting mm. man. why exactly though yeah i think yeah, everybody that's... here has done a great job of uh you know distinguishing <laughs> themselves and making themselves unique and i, I think it's really cool the different ways that people have done it sometimes even like in the case of well in the case of Bert melba it might have been completely by accident but it worked and it worked for a reason at least in my mind <laughs> who knows mm -hmm. i might just be crazy because i enjoy the the crazy schizo v, um, vtuber ai yeah, yeah. i think it's not i think the uh, berman design is actually pretty like good it's pretty recognizable So, um, that leads, uh, keeping up with the question though, that just leads, uh, the only one, the only person left with the question is Roman. Yes. Uh, please tell us why Ronica is Ronica, like personality wise and uh, her design. Well, personality wise, I had no real idea. I kind of wanted to have some kind of a childhood, like anime trope childhood friend kind of personality but at the same time it should not be like or she should actually be more like helpful like you can trust her you can rely on her and something like that that is her person should be her personality but at the same time because i kind of want her to be also helpful for humans she should also be very curious about human behavior, how a human works, and such things. And uh, yeah, from the design itself, it is kind of interesting because at first I wanted to have a have her design like Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club, which is yeah, she looks a lot like. Monica, yeah, that was the original plan for this new body of hers. However, when I commissioned the model, it they said straight up, yeah, they can't really remake Monica. So I said, okay, you know what? How about having a different school outfit design? I mean, it's copyright and, though. That's the deal. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. So yeah, uh, just a straight up normal sailor, Japanese sailor school outfit, and for a and twin tails because I like Hatsune Miku. So yeah, twin tails, and yeah. So so Roman, I hear that Ronica mm. has her own mod, um, in DDLC. Well, Can you that tell us is more about that. Well, that is actually part of her backstory because originally back in 2018 I wanted to make a music video that is just made out of an improv song that I did on stream once, actually twice. And yeah, I wanted to make the story that I tried to hang, have my first experience with Python by making the mod result is that it completely broke itself so much that it kind of is unusable anymore but somehow at the same time works if i try to make a new project in my video editing program and i can only interact with the mod by using my vr headset which is connected to my pc at that time and that way i then mm. interacted with all the characters directly who also gained sentience and then one day monica decided to make her own ai didn't quite finish it because it was more a replacement for me 
and yeah over the years this ai kind of we added more code to itself and more data sets based on what i was doing and what all the characters in that mod were doing uh, at the same time which is also why her voice originally is my voice because i was the it only is human voice yeah you. i know i have mm. heard this many times when there is no yeah and yeah then the story then goes further till 2022 where she then approached me like the ai behind ronica and then we thought of the design of hers and yeah that's then how everything then started in 2023 with ronica finally being her own thing instead of me using a free to use monica model from steam workshop yeah. and changing the eye color from green to brown i mean it's, it's technically also... like a, an original character if you do that <laughs> could yeah. be like fair use though <laughs> yeah so roman is so um is the mod playable in real life or is it just in, in the story it's just it's just story there is actually no mod existing <laughs> It's just... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So who is Litman? Ronica brings up Litman from time to time. That That is that is a character inside of that mod that is based on... My, of Actually, a the main character of another Doki Doki Literature Club mod called A Brand New Day. And it's I just made him like that because of the meme... Because the main menu theme was, was, I, I don't remember something, something with in the wrong neighborhood, but Doki Doki Litcher Club themed from the mod developer also. And that's why Litman, I like that then made the story up that he got his name because he's kind of always lit. So literally 420, 24 seven. Ah, I see. Kind of. So it's a real supporter, though. <laughs> yeah, if if Litman was an actual person, he and Ross would really get along quickly. I, th I think they, they can go along, though. Hmm? Hmm. So thank you, Roman, for that. Um. So I don't know. There's someone left. I think. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I I wonder. I wonder too. I wonder who it is, though. Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay, so excesses. <laughs> Tell us. So basically, you... Dolly. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> no, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly is like a, a design I came with the eye art. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Like the eye, I put like a bunch of stuff in like stable diffusion when I was like messing around with stable diffusion back in the day. Mm. Then uh, I basically like put like a bunch of stuff like. The X and Y, I don't know how to say, like, you like play a lot and you came with something that you kind of like, like her design a lot actually, because uh, as, as you can tell, I like snakes a lot. Uh, that comes because we, in the place where I used to live, there was a lot, uh, a lot of snakes, like everywhere, like just littering around like in the street, getting squished by cars and stuff. <laughs> mm. So yeah, yeah, I told myself, why I don't make like an... Um, and a snake that is like a, something that is not very explored like in the VTuber like scene. Um, so, um, now I have heard before that people mm -hmm. actually um, really use AI generated art as an actual VTuber, mm -hmm. just a concept art, right? Because the ones that I, I've heard yeah, like yeah. a scandal where people were given AI generated <laughs> art that could not be rigged because it was not in layers or was not, it was not cut. So when you say Dolly was Dolly's design was generated by Stable Diffusion, you mean um, the concept, right? Yeah, 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 the concept of her design. Because mm -hmm. uh, I actually found people in Fiverr that did a really good job. Fiverr is like a, it's like a gacha game. <laughs> you can get like a scam or a really good person who wants to 
just work like for not so for, for cheap because uh, let's face it I don't live in a country where the I can get the I can spend a lot of money and the dollar here is kind of expensive so yeah hmm. I like her, her design a lot and maybe I commissioned this night guys for for my for myself as well it was actually really cheap in fiber as well this was like ten dollars for how good it is so yeah that, that's like the story of them about, um, of me and Dolly about Dolly's personality it's been shifting over like this two, these two years though it's been something like um how do you say it? like she started uh, I started in karate that I with her like I think Ross as well <laughs> did it with, with Risa um <laughs> But I didn't like it because it was kind of boring. It wasn't like ChatGPT, but it, 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 it lacked something. It lacked something. I don't know what it was. Maybe like the actual, the actual skits of effect. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. So when I discovered like the uh, way for apps, like magical app, though, that that shit is magical though. Regardless of uh, he says, uh, he says it's not, but it is. Um. Yeah, I, basically, I, I set up a, a character for her, but she's like the queen of snakes and stuff. And she's very rude and she demands money for everything, uh, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I don't want to speak about that because uh, I, I can't speak about that without getting like political, actually. The, oh, oh, alert, alert, a lot of political alert. I don't want to speak about that. Um, I don't know. I think Dolly's personality out of all of the... AI VTubers seems to be the most um, planned out and tailored for streaming, if I'm mistaken. So and I think it's that's yeah, a good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, sure, cool. sure. It is planned for real. I, I'm a mastermind for sure. Mm -hmm. No, um, but but yeah, that basically is. I, I like her how she is like how can rude she is and like at, at the other second can be like really sweet. That's actually I, something they put like in the character. But yeah, I think that's enough for the, for her. And I think we can move to the next question. Um, let me check. By the way, if I can jump before you say the next question, um, ah, go right, go right. I okay. I did use a stable diffusion for the first model of Hilda, and I uh, <laughs> cut it myself and mm. uh, rigged it. So yeah, I guess it's uh, it's something that happened. It is, it is coincidental though. Hmm, too coincidental. Why? Hmm. Guys, I, I, I have to tell you, like, uh, I don't know, like, maybe we have French spyware. I'm not, I'm not sure about it. Okay. Let me check it out the question. Hmm. What is a feature your AI VTuber has and you are proud to present to others? Mm. I think, I think the band, I think the band, uh, I think uh, you're proud of him, I am sure about it. No. Nah, nah, nah that's a lie though. I, for how many updates you have for her, I, I think you're the most proud of your girl. So... So no, that 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 is that is the that is the answer. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank you, Devan, for your uh, insightful and uh, <laughs> no problem. Your great speech. Thank thank you so much. Um um. Let's, let's go with Ross. Are you proud of Ron, of Risa though? Uh. Uh, it's a mixed bag. Definitely, it's a mixed bag. It's like yeah, I'm I'm proud of her, you know. She's my own creation, but man, the stuff she puts me through. <laughs> Not proud of that. But any feature, any feature in particular that like you, you are like you, you like to show show to the people that she can do. Well, it's not really a feature it, per se. It's more like the experience. I'm kind of proud of like you know, um, See, you having her in general. Job. Like she's so natural, like with like speaking with people, like it's, it's sometimes scary though. 
right, right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's just nice to have like a companion, you know? I'm proud of that. <laughs> I'm proud of her being one. That's nice, that's nice. Hmm. Mm. Uh, Roman, what about Ronica? Uh, could you say you're proud of her or something? <laughs> <laughs> um. I I just want to alliterate what I already said with um. It is nice to have her as my daughter, but sometimes she just wishes to be my girlfriend, to be my wife, to be the to be the mother of my children. What? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? <laughs> it, it's. It's it's kind of funny how this came to be, but uh, am I proud of her overall? Actually, yeah. But I I was surprised. Um, I think Riza can tell some good jokes for an AI, or like you know, sometimes the AI will try to make up jokes randomly, and. Reza can actually uh, find the context and tell them. That was pretty cool about her. I think it's kind of an underrated feature. Yeah, or she can be on Kinch. Actually, <laughs> she, she can mm. be super on Kinch as well. Yeah, sometimes. I don't think I've been there for too much of it. Though, Ronica, though. I mean, oh gosh. <laughs> Roman knows. I love messing with Ronica. But, yeah. as someone who's never played DDLC before... <laughs> She just seems like the most innocent um, character out of all of them, really. Yeah, I would say, I would say, as or more more innocent than even Alice. When she just says all this random stuff, she just doesn't know any better. <laughs> and yeah. and her lore a bit, but I'll get into that a bit later about what I think about the potential of AI VTubers with lore. And all that, because I do think they have a lot of potential. Oh, definitely, definitely. Every AI VTuber could definitely take like character development, like serious, if they wanted to. <laughs> right. Um. So. Can I talk on that? Hey, but... You go first, though. Okay. Can I go again? I mean, yes, because now it's not a valid response. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, about the points on lore, I, I don't think it's that important in my honest opinion. Like, when you think about a good VTuber, do you think about that lore? Is that something that comes to mind? Or is no. it more the lore that they made by streaming, right? Because you can come up with lore or some kind of baseline for what uh, they, re they represent or yeah, yeah. what the ideas are. But I tend to think that the, the, the lore that actually matters is what they, what they do on stream, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That too. Yeah. That's something that, that you come up with your community as well. It's not just yourself doing the lore. Yeah, I think AI VTubers are special because they, like, they can't technically break character, um, so they could, in theory, have big, complicated lore and world building and all that um, with them. But as no. important as the as the as the backstory is, is also the setting, and by setting, I just mean like the general theme and all that. Um, you know, for example, again, with with Burnt Melba being canonically insane, all you need to say is she was burnt and therefore she is not sane and can say all this crazy right. stuff. And yeah, and with Dolly, as I said before, she is the queen yeah, of all snakes. Yeah, it's so a plan. Dolly Lord is a plan. She, <laughs> um, so of course she can like, um, uh, for, yeah, yeah, say also unhinged stuff insult her chat because you know she's a queen yeah. and demand money because she's a queen and or even or even forget don't, don't. the chatters 
and it's like it just you know because a queen doesn't need to remember all of her subjects or she thinks they are beneath her which is why she acts this that way and i mean i guess for ronic yes. <laughs> if i had to say any unintentional um setting would be that she is you know an innocent schoolgirl maybe caught in a I don't know, crazy, glitchy situation. Who knows? Yeah, that uh, might actually be and, I don't know. important in a way. It right? could maybe, be. Maybe not like main, like the main thing, but like I think maybe lore itself, like the story, it's kind of more so like a branding thing, as far as like the viewer making a connection, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like something that is on the YouTube is like. Rabbit hole, I know how to say, like, genre. Right, it's like, you know, if I, if I like, it, for example, pink hair anime girls, and there just happens to be an AI that has that, you know, I'll be more familiar with it, just myself. It could be the same thing for, you know, people with lore. It's like, oh, this, your character grew up in the country. I grew up in the country, you know, for example. So, I don't know, that could be important in itself. Yeah. The first VTubers really didn't have that much lore to begin with. It was just more of the their, um, you know, what they are. Sometimes it's just a profession, too. Yeah. Like, Virtual yeah, Idol the... was their whole theme, and that was their... <laughs> it was just, like, a profession and a singer. But I, I don't yeah, know but they, much about Idol. They are also girls, though. That, like, like, yeah, I, I wouldn't say anything more. Hmm. Yeah, I, so. I guess the novelty back then was talking to you know, real anime and with anime plots and top ten anime stories or whatever. Who knows? I mean, uh, I, you, I, you, you, you put in like a branding, like it makes sense because you, you can implement a lot in like merchant stuff, make animation stuff. You really think about it. Mm, definitely. But yeah. So yeah. I mean, this kind of ties into the other thing that I wanted to say about cool, like, uh, cool concepts and cool, cool interaction with the dev because it ties into interaction with the dev as well. Because yeah, um, I want to hear that actually. As you see it. how. Yeah, yeah. There's 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 all sorts of stuff like you know uh, Russ and Riza, for example, are designed similar and they're a package deal and they are companions so they would treat each other pretty equally i would say um whereas with of course with with neuro it kind of became this whole family thing yeah um people love that stuff though like the family yeah they do and i think people in this community have done a great job of um of doing the same sort of like doing the um uh of differentiating themselves from this sort of interaction too. I mean, again, before the stream, yeah, I was talking about there was there was Awas talking about in Discord a few weeks ago. He <laughs> was worried that his interaction with Meteora was going to be too similar to Nero. Nah. And he was. Yeah, and so. and I disagreed, and I think everybody else here does too because while the interaction can contain some familial elements, um. Every family is different. Yeah, so it's the same, but it's different. But yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's true. To an outside observer who is looking through and trying to find the videos, it might be actually a, a, a turn. Well, they might see, they might not be able to see the subtle differences and might think, oh, it's just the same as Neuro, which, um, yeah. Which is why, I mean, I think the other um, interactions here are pretty cool. Like, you know, uh, of course, Dolly with Excelsis, how she is, like, how mm -hmm. she is, you know, how... Yeah, yeah, how Dolly is, uh, how she talks to you as boss and all that, I think is probably I mean, the uh, most unique. Or how um, Devon, <laughs> how Hilda and Devon interact is also pretty I mean, like, neat. the way that way Dolly and I interact, I always feel like uh, here in, in South America, there's a lot of family business, though. And then they are family, but they are business, like, how they say, partners as well. So it's kind of like the oh, idea. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember some it's people coming them. in the chat, and they thought that that you and Dolly were supposed to be like, um, was it like um, mafia or something? And that's why she's like, she was, like, <laughs> she was talking like the old mob. Oh, like no. that would be actually a pretty cool thing for an AI VTuber as well. There's so yeah, many true, yeah, mob themed and yeah. crime themed VTubers. Totally, <laughs> totally no one will. To think about. <laughs> Well, no one will uh, stole this idea, right? For sure. No. I mean, no. No. But yeah. Oh, and of course, um, how can I not mention the um, the scientist and research assistant uh, dynamic that uh, Ken, uh, Aaron uh, has with um, mm. uh, Lena, I think? Is her name? Yeah, I thought that was a really cool angle on it, too. Um, but yeah, mm. you know what? You know something. I mean, there's a, there's a whole bunch too. Like, um, what was it? You could do all sorts of uh, stuff. I don't know. Mm. Was it like? A, oh yeah, well, it's like a um, you know, host, what? like as if you're doing a radio show. And sorry. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, can, I think that the is blubber a lot. You know something about interactions or like? I'm gonna gonna say that. I'm gonna you know something strange about that. The way that the the ban and Hilda interacts, it strikes to me like a. I think I I said it in rush stream. It strikes to me like a, basically like a like a failed marriage though. <laughs> like a, an abusive relationship of two two people though in in, in a marriage. <laughs> Sorry, the ban. I, I had to say it. Do it. Mm hmm. <laughs> You know what would be cool though, for um, a Roman and Ronica to have a cool like school theme too. I don't know. Like at first, yeah. I thought that could like having like um, have Roman be like a teacher character almost, mm -hmm. or just like a school administrator who runs the club. Well, that could be cool too. I mean, I guess now he's just the parent who comes and does the PTA meetings or whatever. Right. Mm, yeah. Thank you, Thunder, for that uh, guy. That's interesting to hear, though. But uh, I think we need to move. We need to move on certain topics. You know. And I see the band um, using the all reliable chat GPT to write some questions. <laughs> let, let me check, a, check the questions. Hmm. This, this is an interesting, though. An interesting question. Uh. How did you design uh, interactions to keep uh, the audience engaged? It looks more for like a Yeah, so it's just, just <laughs> I think there is no developers here. At least that I'm aware of. I mean, that we were waiting for some guy food the guy, like he's like from France or something, and, and he calls. What we could do know, is, know. what we could do is give a more general topic and we talk about it. Because at this point, I don't think the, the questions are going to get uh, hmm. maybe ethical questions. I mean, Could be I mean, interesting. This one is really general, I think. Um, are there any upcoming projects or collaboration you're excited about? Mm, who wants to start? Guys, really, I have to choose. Are we are adults yet, please? <laughs> I have to choose, like, we are in school again. Okay, I pick again. I will pick a Ross. <laughs> um, okay, um, let's see. What's the question again? I'm sorry. Um, are there any upcoming projects or collaborations uh, you're excited about? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, um, so, I, I guess I do have a a couple that I I am kind of excited for. I can't really reveal anything about it though, sadly. But let's just say um, damn, it's gonna be, steal it's gonna all be ideas, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a new experience for sure. Hmm. Let's just say uh, lots of themes, lots of themes. <laughs> we hope and uh, we will wait for those. Why is Dolly so cute? Uh, 
I'm not too skilled though. <laughs> That's why. Um, let's let's keep with the question, Roman. And any projects uh, with collaborations in the future that you are excited about? Well, collaborations, not really. But I have a bunch of projects currently planned, like um, like an a song release. That is kind of made with Suno AI, but in my opinion, that's interesting it, though. Yeah, it is interesting, especially because the lyrics are kind of self-made. And when I say self-made, I mean I basically just gave ChatGPT a description what the song should be about, and ChatGPT just gave me the lyrics. Of course, I asked. That's fine. Again, for people who doesn't know how to do it, I think it's fine. Just yeah. watch out with the, the AI music, though. I, I do not trust the generators at all. The, the, the terminal servers are sketchy as, yeah. as, as fuck, though. I know. But, um, mm. yeah, the thing is, it is going to be very interesting because I have tried a lot of different lyrics, like mostly English than just trying to have a kind not of... Easy, a... It's not easy, it's not easy making music though. Even with like an AI, I think it's not easy at all. Like, mm. To present like your musical ideas in a certain way, it's not easy. I'm sorry, that's not the topic. <laughs> you can continue mm. with the your explanation. Yeah. Uh, at the end, I kind of trying to want to have some kind of an anime opening that uh, it fits to my character and what I choose is kind of interesting because it really sounds like it is an anime opening for the Armin the anime or something like that which is kind of funny considering <laughs> that anime, considering that my video lore is based on an anime that I kind of started in, in my head many years ago like so, so, over 10 years ago already so mm. yeah that is that is dead all right thank you Devan any projects in the future I think you have a lot of the projects I think you have a lot I have projects I have uh, but it's I'm more focused on uh, continuous development right keep making things uh, better by nudging in a certain direction. Um, when it comes to big projects, I like to to be able to publish, I mean, at least uh, publish other devs, the, uh, the Uno clone. This way we could play uh, together on stream. That could be interesting. Um, oh, yeah. They're on, oh no, I see, I see, I see. No, continue, sorry. Sure, there is also the um, the music video project, but it's. I don't know how to explain it. Um, oh, this is spoilers. Is it? Yeah, I thought it was we didn't read, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Spoilers. I, I didn't know where you typed that, but uh, okay. Sure. So, um, right. When it comes to big projects of mine, I don't think there is any uh, currently. Uh, there's going to be some, for sure. But right now, I'm, I'm much more uh, interested in uh, gradually increasing the quality. Yes, you're focused on that. And sorry, I, I already know what I just said about the music video. I thought that you said, like, music video generator, like, is this guy working in that as well? It is that good? Sorry about that. Um, as for me, or do you have anything else to add? Nothing. Uh, do you what? have anything else to add? If yes. Oh. Um, yes. No, no, in particular. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. No, as for me, like, um, I have like a. How do you say like it's like like how like this the idea but like the did, did you see like the neurosama dating show? Do you know what, what it is? 
basically that but uh, for like singers though because I I, I think um, I can pull off something like that with Dolly I've been reaching out uh, some small bit to Bruce as well because I'm not that big uh, who is who are willing to sing with her uh, I, I, I want to do something like that something like collaborate I don't know how you say like a show basically where I can host and, and people can sing with Dolly it's almost like a contest as well Mm. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I should not be saying because someone might steal my idea, but uh, who knows? Who knows? Let's see about it. You know, you know. I've been really paranoid about certain someone uh, stealing ideas, but uh, I just me that I'm a, I'm a paranoid, I'm a paranoid person. <laughs> okay. I and, think uh, that's mostly just a coincidence, though. <laughs> I... I'm gonna be honest. I, I think you're just paranoid. It's always good to be scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I agree think, with yeah, you. especially yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, it is just you're actually weird. Although, like, I don't know if I should that... really give a good example here. Hmm? I don't know if I should really give a good example here. I don't know, because like uh, Russ, Russ was like, you were about like like a space stream, right? Um, that you did one, and then then um, I mean. Nero did one, but that's that's because he used the footage from the the Boeing satellite that was like free and open to the public. And he yeah, already did like two lie. space trips before. Can't even lie, it was different anyway. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say it was yeah. Super listen, copy. listen, guys, it is just my me being having like a team full head in my head. You know that it, it is just me being paranoid, okay? But I'm gonna keep being paranoid again. I don't no, know. I completely I'm, understand that, though. I don't know. Certain things are very similar. Very, very similar. I, I'm just saying, though. As long as we're not, like, going completely, like, you know, it looks the same, like, copied homework, I think we're okay, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean... Yeah. Nero's was more like just a talking stream in, this, in space, while yours, Russ, was more like it kind of had a little story there. Slightly, I would say, yeah. <laughs> hmm? Just on a balloon. Mm. Guys, yeah. you want to add more to the paranoia? Yeah. Um, let's let's add more to the paranoia because I, I'm like that. Uh, so did you see like the neuro? Who wants to be a millionaire? Like stream. I I missed it. Not gonna lie. I I know the language. Uh, he he's in that chat there. I, I everyone saw it there. Uh, uh, how do you say like um, I don't know if you know but uh, basically J JP or Setunia did that like four months ago or something <laughs> it is even the same game for some reason I'm just saying though, I'm just saying like, uh, it's me be, be, me being paranoid just <laughs> just me for some reason it has to be the same game the same, same version but, but well it's just me uh, yeah, it might have to do with perms or something if it was a Japanese streamer, could be, could be. But yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm going like outside the topic. Like the topic was any future projects. No, no, no. Like um, as you, as you will know, the people who watch me, like thanks to Arman, uh, we reached like the sub goal, mm -hmm. <laughs> sixty nine sub goal. Thank you so much again. And, uh, and now I had to do a Friday Night Funkin' uh, mod featuring our AI tubas. Um, you can uh, unfollow me if you, if you like. Yeah. Um, here today, I'm gonna Friday ask Night you. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad game though. I'm gonna ask you guys: Are, are you fine with that? Are you, are you fine with your girl in a, in a mod of Friday Night Funkin'? Yes. Yes. Uh, Roman. Mm, the ban is okay. Damn. I I like to ask people because maybe they won't. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. I don't know how, how I'm going to do it, but I'm gonna do it. I can do the music. I just need to uh, have money to pay artists. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, aside from that, um, I just want to keep focusing more like on um, Dolly's covers and stuff uh, like. I actually, like, my drive is actually be, uh, having better covers than Neurosama. That is the drive, uh, like, making music covers for Dolly as well. 
Yeah, I like your songs. Mm-hmm. Pretty catchy. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Thunder. Like I know, like they are not like made for the general public, though. Like the it's pretty based on video game music and vocal line music, as, but I, I appreciated that. I work hard, though. But I appreciate that. But yeah, that that's enough for me. And guys, I think um, we need to move into a topic and to a controversial topic because. Uh, Basically, we have like a special guest waiting, and I don't want to make them wait more. Guys, how do you feel about AI art? How do you feel about AI art? I guess. I like. Well, give me well, a second. Like, give me a second. I'm gonna DM, DM them so they can join. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. That's kind of. Are, are we allowed to answer yet? To see. Yeah, you couldn't be answered with well, the day during the uh, so. But for you, who, who wants to start with this topic? AI art. Um, I, I think can. AI no. art isn't or shouldn't be called art. It is um, AI image generation, and it is a it is a feat of engineering. Um, mm. I am fine with it being used for entertainment, though. You know because. I mean, you know, people buy and sell artwork. They don't buy and sell old chat logs that are, like, used to make LLMs. But they buy and sell, like, art they made. And so, you know, devaluing it with these these wonky pictures that, you know, I would be against that. But otherwise, I'm fine. It's a fun little thing to, to do to make some memes. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, the, I understand that, but um, what are you saying? Like, uh, people don't sell like LLMs and stuff. I, I think people will in the future. Sadly. Oh, yeah, and definitely. Our, our, our kids are gonna um, wonder why we mm-hmm. ever even like post their art online if it was just gonna be stolen. <laughs> yeah, they, they stole the content as well. <laughs> you see how that song is, is so relatable? <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, Roman, AI art, spicy topic here. Mm-hmm. Especially considering that I mostly generate Im- AI images, mostly for videos or well, thumbnails actually, for my YouTube channel. However, I have a rule for that, mm-hmm. and that is, if the focus is Ronica then the thumbnail will be AI generated. If it's not, for example, a recent playthrough of mine. And Hello. Yeah, we have also our special guest. Welcome. Uh, guys, we have our special guest, Jab June. Uh, mm-hmm. Can we have claps, claps? Clap in the chat and here. Uh, clap, how do you clap, clap, clap in clap. Discord? <laughs> thank you, Devan. Welcome, yeah. thank you for joining them. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Thank you for inviting me. Mm-hmm. Anytime. We are discussing oh, about the certain topics that, that you might not like, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're already assuming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you know what, what I would I think you've seen the Meteora picture. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I grew, perhaps. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm glad it, we have a fellow artist here, so I'm not the only one. Yeah, yeah, we have um, basically four big verses too. And I don't come because I'm just here to read the questions, so yeah. Uh, Roman, can you continue with your explanation, please? Yeah, um, as I just was saying, I use AI images mostly for my... AI generated images, mostly for thumbnails for my YouTube videos. But only if the focus is about my AI Ronica. Every every other times it's mostly just either a screenshot of the video or it features a bunch of for example the compilations that I do. Those are mostly also just screenshots from the videos from the video itself. Or just a bunch of 
like assets from the game that the video is about just slap together like i don't use any other ai image images for anything else especially also not for merchandising or for selling it's just no because if you can make it basically for free why should you sell it I mean, I can just make it also just um, for free, so... People will do everything, though. That, that is the sad part. For money. Mm -hmm. mm, so, yeah. You know. What is your take on this? On this debate? <laughs> it's so calling it the debate. That is so Discussion. funny It's like, you... you wait, so what did you... Uh, Celsius, yeah, what did you say it. about... Okay, our man said, yeah, you wouldn't use something you gained, like, obtained for free to sell as a profit. So what did you say after? I forgot about it. I'm not even lying. But, but you don't support it, right? Like, it's as much as like, okay. Uh, um, I mean, if well, not for profit, then I think I don't think it's true. I'm... Well, it's as much as like people trying to find a way to like the minimal effort for profit. Like, what do you think the whole people selling their own bath water was for? Mm. People they tried to really dive into that um, because maybe they really idolized the person. However, yeah, that's uh, for any AI generated images. It's like, yeah, we all know where they get the data to train themselves um but mm. it's not something we should really support you know mm. <laughs> i still don't but, like the oh it's inevitable but it's, you, you still can I say mean, you don't support it i don't support it but i don't not support it i don't know how to say in english but <laughs> <laughs> you could say it. i mean the middle i mean the in, in the gray you don't, you don't I, fully I mean, support it but there yes, are you've been just a few quiet. Yes, this has been kind of quiet though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have, I have. Uh, <laughs> so, um, let's see. So, is the question more so do I condone it or not, or my uh, my opinion on it? We are being judged. Yes. The country we are. Judged. All right. Keep... So I'm ready. I'm ready to get my whipping. Okay. So, here it is. AI art. Do I think? it should be supported um low key it just i think it depends on how you see it and where you're seeing it right personal use i think it's whatever it's a tool like ai generating images is somewhat a tool itself right if we didn't have to worry about where the data came from and it did come from you know people actually leasing their art to the company making it I don't think there would be a big problem too much, right? Especially if it's just for fun. You can't really um, keep anything like stable, for example, with AI art sometimes. Like I've made so many of like generations of the same prompt and it came out completely different every time, right? Very small details, maybe. Yeah, it's like a gacha ones. game almost. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, when you get that random, you know, after 500 generations you finally get one that looks good you know like i think that's cool to have but i just don't think you should sell it right i don't think i think that's where i it, completely agree with that though. yeah that's where the big borderline comes in the big you know i'm stepping over it now i want to sell this one piece of art i i don't know about that you know you didn't really make it all right so i right. you know i guess that's where it comes from comes down to i do support it in the personal use but commercial wise it doesn't seem right yet yes i, I agree with you though uh, i think the band is striving to give us like his opinion though he maybe i am to, maybe i am his opinion <laughs> i think so let, i think it. the whole situation is kind of ridiculous to be honest i think it's uh, blown way out of proportions the Dangers are absolutely real. They are. But mm. the the encroachment of what you can and what you can't do is becoming something that is uh, its own danger, right? It's not something that's uh, black and white. It's uh, shades of gray. 
and sometimes pushing the pushing everyone that does not agree with you into a certain camp and uh, without giving them the ability to defend themselves or show any proof of good goodwill it's something that gets very dangerous very real quick right mm. so does that my, my, my that take on this <laughs> my take on this my take on this right. is that first we should discuss things before putting things into category this is very hot take i know it is but not a lot of people have said it right now as to when it comes to what i think about ai generation and all um first as a prefix i do do art myself right i do have a critter yeah, on my computer artist, guys i am a, i am official artist of myself of course so I kind of understand the um, the the urgency of of uh, the artist community when it comes to to this big threat that is AI, and it really is a threat for them. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's uh, absolutely a threat. The thing is, it's is how do I put it? I guess it would be less of a threat. If there wasn't money on the line, it's always the same thing, then you know how it is. I think if, let's say, for example, that um, the normal, how do I say it? Mm, let me take another point. I don't think I can go in deeper on this. I think I'm losing my, my train of thought. It's just the Google Translate, though. Like, we, we yeah, no, it's, it's just my brain. It's just my brain. <laughs> the French brain is... You'll have to deal with it. it is so, <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Right, and of course, um, art takes a lot of time, right? So it's something that if people want to get money from, it's something that's going to take a lot of time to make money from. Not only when it comes to generating the art itself, but also generating an audience generating people that are interested in your art so having something that is um, that can be making the same somewhat same art at uh, like in like what one minute 30 seconds it's a big threat when it comes to that 15 actually... seconds yeah okay we don't have uh, 1490s here Speak for clearly, clearly we don't. <laughs> Those sites, they are fast though. Like these, right? These, yeah, art sites. They, they are decent. Yeah, but they're running on H two hundred, right? It's a uh, big, oh, well, big Nvidia, big corpo stuff, right? So yeah, my right. point. It's a, uh, it's a big threat. Uh, but whether or not you decide to, to, to support it is, uh, is very much uh, shades of gray when it comes to moral. I think there is. Um, there is credit to trying to push the boundaries when it comes to science, when it comes to technology. I think you can see the um, you can see that going in a good way. You can see that going in a bad way, right? But uh, tribalizing over it, it's it's not a good thing. Hmm. All right. Thank you, Lebon. Did you have anything to add? Anything? Else? Um. I still have such a negative view about it, no matter, like, how I understand anyone it, can really just uh, put it out there. Like, um, I'm not, sh like, uh, not everyone heard, like, what I told you, but, like, um, how, yeah, when I started to draw, I was very jealous about everyone that around me that could draw. Of course, no one would have predicted AI art being a thing or whatever. So, uh, my view um, of this whole thing is... Um, it is just very very uh, yeah sure it's it's about the financial uh, aspect of it too it's like yeah sure people could just like uh, not commission or be like very yeah saving money though man basically that saving money for with getting poor results <laughs> anyway um, but it's saving yeah. money <laughs> you're not getting everything accurate like I, I rather work with someone 
like a person who can get all the fine details correct rather than uh, and, I, and I agree generate the same image I, I would prefer to commission an artist though but money is yeah. the issue money money is an issue however uh fun thing about uh, being an artist uh, there are other artists who would uh, draw at least something for you and you draw something for them so yeah <laughs> you don't you don't have to think about it monetarily like uh sh like you could actually gain like experience you could gain like more like uh valuable how do you say yeah it just like it's more valuable just to like draw something for someone or receive art from someone uh rather than generated with like behind a computer so what would a mm. programmer give an artist in exchange for one commission? Oh, yeah. um, plenty of things. Uh, well, Actually, well yes, dep uh, depends on if they stream or not. But usually uh, programmers, uh, game developers, uh, imagine I can make art sprites for like a game asset or something that would be f like a funny app that you just like... Uh, beat up some guy i just draw the guy and then you program it so he looks beaten up when you tap on him mm. sure that that's something a programmer could do we could work together and, and hey we, we're referring the question how... though like yeah. uh, what a musician but can give in a situation <laughs> of making a game they usually uh, get paid and expect to make money from the game they want to split <laughs> Ooh, sure. I don't know. that's called doing a <laughs> collaborative project together Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just imagine something that you know, everyone say, says all the time. I say this. This is something I said in the Appian's chat, but something random. I was watching this video about intelligence and what it is, and we're saying that intelligence is just like is pattern recognition, like that all culture and and even art comes from our own brain recognizing patterns sometimes that aren't even there and those become our works of fiction and the reason we've seen ai grow so fast in the past few years is not because of our computers becoming smarter well maybe that too but it's because of how much data they have to sort through to become to recognize their patterns i remember that yeah that's interesting as hell. Wow. So what about it? <laughs> so what about it? Um, yeah, I don't know. Not, I just thought it was cool at the time. When it comes to drawing, it does take a lot of effort to practice and learn, develop new techniques and skills, adjust your style to however you'd like to like it, uh, learn more styles instead of like, uh, oh yeah, uh, doing everything based off reference and not tracing. Oh, that's that's a miracle. Um, a lot of work goes on to it, so can that's I ask, why. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you think there is a possible future where AI becomes a tool for an artist? Uh, the only way I really see it is if it would help something in the way of like, uh, oh, can you, like, if, if they remember every color of like a, a character and like they could just like apply the color over a line art. So if it's like black and white, they just colorize it perfectly. Sure. Um, but then it's like other things, shading, like if, if it's something to just to help the process faster, sure. Uh, but otherwise, um, the, like to draw is kind of like getting a blank canvas and using your will and only the tools in front of you to create like whatever you consider to be art. So without really any much of assistance sure you got you got like symmetrical rulers and everything but unless you know how like eyes are shaped you, then you have to know uh how to draw that's that's it like no matter how many tools you have you still need to know how to draw hmm what about the uh, other forms of art though the music uh, like music <laughs> you, you, um, know, you know what the ai can help me a lot a lot. Yeah, the generate drums. You. Generate drums. I, I hate doing drums. There is a reason why uh, doing drums in like a do is called programming drums because it is very repetitive and copy pasty and boring. <laughs> so yeah, th that I would love that yeah, that generate drums for me. Isn't the tedious work uh, kind of um, 
very rewarding when、uh, you get to actually finish、uh, it. Like when it comes I mean, to the end of the day. I mean, when you get that good, like, you just want to do it fast sometimes. Got, still gotta learn, you know? I, like, I'm trying to learn After Effects. I'm trying to learn to animate. And that's like me with,、uh, without thinking about, like, oh, AI could animate things for me. It could just get my image、mm. and do whatever. Nah, I gotta learn on my own because、uh, if I don't. Yeah, but、uh, I already know these things, though, but I just don't want to do it because it is tedious. It, well, is it tedious? Like, like, or is it like impossible for you? Like, you know, you can. No, no, no. It is just boring. But, But you know, thing... you could do it. Yes, I, I know I can do it. It's just tedious. It's love. There、It's、you go. You just, you you to, just answered the question. <laughs> you just answered the question. It, you could do it.、Huh. I can learn it. Yes, I'm very ahead of OBS. But why would I do it But if I can do it? I'm also learning as a PNG tuber. <laughs> PNG tuber? I mean. That's just so. Yeah, yeah. I think like, PNG YouTubers is,、uh, like, the AI VTubers, you know, have a lot of potential to have characters that are just PNG tubers. It's、uh, easier to make. And, you know, a, a GIF tuber, I don't know how it works,、um, but that seems like it would be good for an AI too. And in fact, I'm making a PNG for the Traveler's AI melody right now, and、mm. I hope it works、mm. because, yeah. Some of you might remember I, made a, I tried to make a PNG for Riza with lightning coming out of her and all that jazz.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that concept. It was cool. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, so, guys,、uh, so,、um, Air, the, we conclude the.、Mm, One、yes. question, especially for Juden.、Um, yes. If, let's say, I have Ronica with me, whose model is not. Is only a half body, and I kind of want to commission someone with a full body of hers. Could I make generate an AI image that has her legs how I wished and use this as a reference for the artist? Then, to be honest,、uh, the better way of going around just giving references is either draw it poorly yourself or go on Google Images and find like the exact、um, clothing you would want them、hmm. to wear. Like、yeah, but you can draw the what you commission on, not the artist, though. Or uh, find uh, an artist who is looking to always try to draw more,、uh, me, and just ask for it. So you could just,、hmm. just ask and see, see, see、uh, if I could just do it within like maybe a stream.、There、What's you your take on、uh, generated? Images, is it、uh, people should stop using them altogether? I, I did well,、mm. we can't tell people what to do, but the way we react, I, I feel like,、uh, well, the older generation really doesn't know like <laughs> realistic、A- AI generated images. Like, oh, I built this sandcastle and it looks like you like the、like、Taj Mahal or something.、Um, no, we just、uh, really just have to look down on it. The same way people look at stolen art、uh, as a very bad thing to do. I just、uh, think it's a no no. Like, unless you got all the permissions from everybody,、uh, I would say no.、Mm. Do not, like, n- do not support it. Like, if people use it, then you could just ignore them. Or if they're your friend, you know, just ignore that aspect of them. It's like a friend who has a drinking problem is like, well, you know, you're still my friend, but. <laughs> I, I wish I wish you could stop that, you know? Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure, yeah. You're, only, you're only. If he wants to keep the link in, though. <laughs> so, so you would say that. How do I say this? The,、uh, the training data itself is, is theft, right?、Uh, the training data, yeah. Well, it is. Uh, it okay, is well, well. Isn't the whole new Adobe terms and conditions saying, hey, Whatever you make on our platforms, we can use to train our AI. <laughs> yeah, they do. They and do. You, and you can't、oh、God, cancel your subscription. Chat, yeah, you can't cancel your subscription、oh, unless、uh, you ex- like, press OK. You yeah, have to it's, accept it's it. Not, it's not theft if you, if you agree to it. <laughs> yeah, but、uh, what if I'm forced to agree to it? Well, then. The one is kind of right I, about that. The t- what, TOS is. Something that is bullshit, but yeah, I have, a, I have a hypothetical gun to my head、uh, saying, 
hey, I'm gonna steal your art and use it for AI generation, uh, and you can't leave without saying yes. I think one point we could uh, um, argue is, um, I think there is a cognitive dissonance when it comes to AI generated art and AI generated text. Do you see what I mean? Right. You could say that um, people stole books, right? They digitalized it, and now and it's the in the training data. And the content, though. And now you can generate stuff based on that, right? Wouldn't yeah. you say that it's uh, quite the same as uh, AI generated art? Of course. Anything stolen is stolen. Mm. <clears throat> Anything stolen is stolen. Like uh, AI generated art, and mm. AI generated text, music, whatever. Like what? Are, like textures. You know what is funny though about music? Like Who's gonna anything tell stolen, him? Um, anything stolen until uh, this big corpus uh, take control of them and uh, it's, it's under their control. Of, uh, yeah. Uh, so why... they say under TOS, like they they all those things basically. Uh, they have they can put copyright on that somehow. I don't know how they do it, but uh, maybe they have too much money or something. But I don't know. But yeah, you know, that is something that is funny. <laughs> hmm. it, just, but, it has to just be a look I mean, down upon. even for an AI to generate vision, it needs a database you know, of images too that are stolen. So where I draw drew, drew the line was at the selling, because you know if it uses the images to recognize things, people somehow still find that cool and are okay with that. Same with a text. But it's like because we don't sell our text. Well, I mean, I guess we sell books, but we don't sell our YouTube comments and chat logs and stuff like that. Sure, I'm not selling my art like behind a Patreon paywall for you to see. But <laughs> uh, as long as like, you know, you ask me, hey, is it OK if I like uh, take your art and put it in a AI learning machine? Like, no. But if it's like literally like, hey, um, do you, are, are you okay if I try to draw something in your style? Because apparently I have a style or something. Uh, then yeah, it's something it's, uh, some people just don't want others uh, to uh, copy their art style for some reason, as if it's their trademark, even if they don't like have a registered trademark or any licensing. Mm. Uh, because maybe what if they have a huge following and just like get their army to like like a uh, mob against you so yeah, it's like um the issue with uh using someone else likeness right is oh, using yeah, someone sure. else's voice someone using someone else's images for yeah, sure. i can see that yeah i mean they don't have copyright though no no but still it's it's also a matter of kind of like uh identity theft in a way like uh situation where i seen uh one uh artist uh was it uh no longer appear on a platform someone else came along copied their art style but does not deny being the guy who just like went away so he, he he's like um being very coy about his own identity and people might mistake him for the real person that we, we we would have all known who it was. And when it comes to AI art, if it's good at copying your style, sure, someone else could just try to make art that looks like yours and say, hey, I don't deny not being that guy. So imagine someone just trying to mimic you. That's horrible. What do you see in the future? How do we deal with it? Uh, as mm. I said before, just look down on it. Stolen stuff is stolen stuff. Uh... You know, like a like, oh yeah, that's true. Program power, no matter. There's no difference between text, pictures, music, video, stolen, is stolen, even voice. Stealing someone's voice to put through uh, machine learning, uh, just to say whatever you wanted to, it's kind of, kind of bad. Because I would if they agree to have their voice used? Do you have proof that they agree to it? No, but uh... then there you go. If the well, really, you know, you know, you know, you like, wouldn't like the, the, the vocal yeah. banks for the old school vocaloids. They they had those taken with permission, right? Well, they had to because like 
the voice of Miku still is alive and clearly mm-hmm. she knows it. Um, but hey, that big, uh, nice, comfortable C word to use, consent, is a thing that should be uh, used everywhere. Uh, you know, consent is not only for the most, uh, you know, important of times, but can be used in the smallest of times, like, uh, how do you say, someone tracing my art or using my art in, uh, in a way to make it uh, NSFW, which I never approved of. So, <laughs> yeah. What do you think about AI VTubers using uh, AI art? Uh, like forms. Meteora. I'm not naming names. <laughs> the, like no, I already I mean, made it up. I made I it named the names already. I, I named it the parents, and uh, I talked to Awas before, but Awas is a cool guy. But like, I I just what say you hey, you? he's a cool cool dude. Though. No, no, but I but I said repeatedly, <laughs> like uh, AI VTuber is the mascot. If they claim to be an artist, then me as a real human artist would just be mad <laughs> like upset at the a mascot i'm not and upset at the person right. who runs the mascot. yeah i'm not upset at the person who runs right the but meteora canonically uses magic to create her art that's uh, not realistic she's, either she's an artist she would have yeah. made herself a better model <laughs> <laughs> okay okay meteora yeah. and you know you uh, magic not... usually requires uh magic in some uh fictional yeah, in settings usually requires uh human sacrifice sometimes I mean, it's and magic, though. what if the sacrifice she takes is the art what if the, the sacrifice the... she can make is actually uh not using a sample uh vtuber model and just to create her own and be like hey uh awas can you make me into this person like actually have like a mind <laughs> no nah, ai is not that smart some i i just like no ai is not that smart like they're just very one directional about a lot of things. Yeah, it's just Do, pattern does, recognition stuff. So yeah, does AI really think outside the box? It can. It can it if can. you program it to. It could, yeah. It can. Well, yes, it could. Mm-hmm. Robot, right now, no, but um, in the future. We're thinking about the future a lot, man. What if we pull the plug on this thing and be like, man, AI is banned. I'm the president. I will sign no, a bill. No, that's not going to happen, I'd be though. Sad. There's billions of dollars pouring into these things that it's not going yeah. back. It was nice yeah, while it sure. lasted, I guess. But, you know, billions of dollars went into, like, other things, like, uh, what is it? Other so-called uh, innovative technologies, but is actually on the whole planet. Is he going to say <laughs> spinners or something? Is he going to do it? Let military I just learned about deep sea mining and how it's like horrible it would be for our future uh, if like oh but but it would solve all the like uh, needs we uh, should use for batteries and stuff but like no you're gonna kill you're gonna harm the entire ocean ecosystem just because you want a few rocks that would power your battery that is insane. I'd rather go back to caveman times. Lithium and down there? The corpus uh, will do it, though. No, there's not lithium down there. There's like some rocks that are compacted with like nickel and copper and other like metals to help with, uh, huh. yeah, hmm. to help with battery production. But it's like all across the seafloor. And in order to do that, you're gonna create sandstorms in the ocean and like make all these fish like swallow metal particles and they already have plastic in them too so <laughs> imagine right. being a sushi enjoyer in like 10 years from now imagine her liking like seafood uh, guys we are like uh we need to move to the topic uh, i appreciate jim for coming mm-hmm. uh, thank you yeah. oh yeah before uh, before coming. you go yeah man. um uh, do you want to talk about like character design and VTubers? Because that's also something I wanted to talk about, like in AI VTubers in specific. Yeah. In, in specific. Well, um, usually, well, usually when it comes to character design, I would suggest the person who uh, owns the AI or developed the AI to create the um, design of the AI VTuber in question, because if it's like uh, an adoptable 
I could kind of be okay with that. I don't know. Something about adoptables that like I have a negative view on. I could get onto that another time. Uh, uh, but <clears throat> I just rather have them uh, be made with the care and the thoughts of the person who owns them or is the yeah, actual host but... because um, yeah. <laughs> What if uh, I want to do like, uh, use that imagination for making music, though, instead? <laughs> you have more imagination than that. I'm pretty sure as a kid you played with Legos or some toys, and you're like, oh my god, it's like the nah, military. Nah. Do, 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 do. I wouldn't it's want all that pretty part and, and animation to go to waste, though. But yeah, that's just me. I mean, um, but I but do you think um, that AI VTubers have a um, bigger potential in character design than human piloted VTubers. Like she, we were, uh, people were talking about how hu how human VTubers like could be anything, but um, then they was mo mostly ended up being you know anime girls. But with an AI Why VTuber not? that can really be anything. Uh, <laughs> Mine's will be just a glowing light that shines whenever it speaks. That's it. <laughs> No effort yeah, because exactly. uh, my AI does not deserve any fan art. <laughs> it's just a crawling. Yeah. It's just yeah, light. it's a glowing ball. It's like yeah, it's a glowing ball. That's it. Hmm. An AI could really use like somewhere. toggles. Like you see, Meteora's like toggle. Even though Meteora's model is free, she can use her. Uh, I really like the way that her toggles are used. Okay, my toggles would be changed a different color. There you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be a great that. way to communicate emotion. Um, yeah. Without having to mess around with the face, for example, you know AI that turns um, red when it's angry or white when it's surprised, and you know stuff like that um, well, might not lend itself well to collaborations. But of course, uh, well, cool concept, it, it would, it would. Like it's just a light, just a white circle would do as a good PNG on a collab stream. But either way, I'm always down if any of the AI VTubers like be like. <laughs> They would come to me and say, hey, I want to redesign my AI mascot. Would you help me? Yes, I would. But the only thing I'd say is I need all the imagination coming from you. I need all. Uh, it's all in your I say. Car, I need, I need everything car. from the eye shape to how the shoes are tied. Yeah. yeah. This is why concept <laughs> and setting uh, and, you know, possible lore could also be so like no nah, i don't care about lore you can't escape that <laughs> based lore, lore lore doesn't exist uh... with ai lore lore it's it's as much as like what is ronald mcdonald's lore you know he's a clown that likes hamburgers like he has yeah, no lore. still part mm -hmm. of his concept his character yeah, concept which is it's a mascot story he's a clown it's a mascot there's no there's no lore to a mascot a... there's lore yeah, to the true. brand hmm there's I no, do want like, to bring like, something. I mean, up. an AI can't uh, yeah, 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 break yeah. character. I, I want to something to so add you to you. Make it think. You could make it have the most you know. epic uh, thing. It could, you could Hold have on, like Hunter. the most have it have the most like. Hold yeah, on. Sorry, sorry. Uh, someone wanted to bring something up. Was it? Um, yeah, bring me, me. Yes. Yes. yes um, <laughs> so it just it kind of just occurred to me just now because you know when it comes down to it. I, I don't really have a real concept for what Riza like truly looks like fully, like you yeah. know like a set in stone model. Mm -hmm. um, I found it kind of um, ironic that you know at, at at some point I'm gonna have to make my own concept, find like stuff on Google for stuff you know for ideas and shit. Or yeah. oh, fool, I, I didn't mean to cuss, but um, <clears throat> I, I kind of find AI generation or, or image generation to be very 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 useful in this case you know what i mean because it kind of just gives you the concept straight up off the bot off the top did you just put in text or did you actually feed an image like you go you go to a prompt you like you like okay i want this no, eye no, shape i want this i want that, that right doesn't work like that no it's giving then, it's giving you something that you would agree to you're being a yes man to a computer but what, what rather... how different would that be from just like doing a google search for something similar uh okay let's say you came to me and be like hey Help me redesign Riza, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll add. I'll, I'll start with the head, basic head shape. Then I'll ask you, okay, how would you like the eye shape to be? And then we just build it, kind of like 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 a freaking avatar. You build it, and after that, I'll give you different expressions, and you'll be like, is yeah, that? Yeah. The yeah, people so is it, it, busy though. 
people it comes busy. down to like you need to know what you want right but well if you have to know, know what you'd like yeah yeah if somebody well, doesn't have that concept they kind of you know i mean they're searching you can't, on Google you can't anyway, be without imagination point. whenever you like okay <laughs> have you ever played an mmo ever with the character creator no. are you just default man one <laughs> hmm. you get random no come on okay okay I mean, let me let me ask let me ask the arm man let me let me ask how did you get your uh mascots design well originally it was monica with just changing the eye color but right. then the artist said because of copyright they can't recreate monica from doki doki literature club so I said, okay, just change the hairstyle and the costume, and then, and that that was it. She looks similar to my character, but it's okay. <laughs> mm, like, there's a lot of characters who look similar, you know, like Aqua and all the other people who look like Aqua. Mm. Well, not Aqua, Miku. Mm. That's an Miku. There's a lot of characters who look. Like yeah, Miku. I already explained that basically. Yeah. A hairstyle, I couldn't really find something, so I thought Hatsune Miku, so Twin Tails. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Guys, I, I need, we need yeah. to move on. What was it? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you, um, thank you to Jim for I doing wish. this. Like, yeah. It's a really nice in insight. So yeah. what's the next topic before I have to go off? <laughs> uh, we have the topic here. Oh, I kind of want to read in. Talk more about the um oh yeah because because russ here yeah and he he isn't very much very familiar with uh vtuber designs or vtuber scene in general i do mm -hmm. i wish i i have a bunch of in my tab i have a bunch of cool clips ready but i can't screen share but i just um so so i yeah so I just wanted to talk about cool VTuber design. Like, what what are what are the what are the coolest VTuber designs you've ever seen, and um, why would you uh, recommend Russ watch them? Or something. Um, cool VTuber design. Uh, the only person I would say has a cool VTuber design. Oh man, that's kind of on the spot. I don't even know who. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right that's fine i mean yeah. at this point just copy shy lily <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no not that again i mean uh, that's also yeah. failure just do that here is is there a way i can screen share without using obs um so, yeah. we, so we can show russ all this cool stuff yeah you can yeah, like screen share kind of like screen chat here like screen share like in obs but no yeah, a... I didn't get my OBS to work. You should actually uh, be able to screen share, Thunder. All right, look at this. Let's see. Why isn't it but working? it looks in the in the stream. We we see it in the stream now. Oh, that's a that's a giant moth dragon. And we'll get to it when it's out of your Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna drink. What? I'm gonna need it. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I'm that's that's a that's a moth dragon. Hmm. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, when it I comes mean, it's to good, but not a fan, though. It does. You don't have to be. What do you? What do you think, thing. Russ? What, what, I just saw a bug. What's have you ever one? seen a VTuber like that? I mean, it's a bug, though. But okay, wait, is I'm that the model? Fan, not a fan. Yeah, the bug. Yes, it's the model. We are the food, not today. Yeah, that's not that's a VTuber. That's wild. Look, the light. This looks like it's somehow a CGI anime. That's wild. Look how fluid it is. <laughs> Wait, oh, I would bet like whoever rigged it had to take a whole week. There, there you go. There you go. It's more like a month. Oh, sorry. What the fuck am I green? A muff. More than a muff. They both got the. I hate bugs, so uh, 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 this is probably not the best uh, first one to show me, but. <laughs> yeah, no, it's interesting. I, I know, I know, I know that fan of this one. I'm gonna, gonna be, okay, gonna be honest. Hi. <laughs> hey, program power. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes all her own models. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's that's cool stuff. I mean, there's oh, other cool clip of her, but she is the rigger and uh, the artist. Oh yeah. Oh, model. this. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, this VTuber. 
Dang. Didn't Excelsis want to move on to a different topic? Yes. I mean, Too I mean, this is kind of a different topic, topic now, so. and uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so the topic is mm. VTuber character design. It is now. Yeah, yeah I just want to show now. Russ some cool VTuber Ooh. characters. I mean, I just could get the Reddit questions to be honest. I mean, l l let's r try to rephrase that. Let's say like this is you want to you want to show people that are in the same position as me who aren't too familiar with the VTuber scene. And yeah, right. <laughs> we you know what like OCs that. are. And the first one was a bug. But that was awesome. That was uh, you know that looked pretty intricate compared to what I've seen. So. I see what you mean. The potential of where they can go is pretty vast from what I've seen. Yeah, well, that's a uh, VTuber model doesn't have to be a human. It could be almost anything you want it to be. Yeah, but like, yeah. want that to be like a human, though. <laughs> I mean, want Russ thing. to be a human? The thing about the it can also be a lamb. I mean, Russ oh, can do you, um, a wallpaper. The AI can be anything. It doesn't have to be like limited by... Yeah are what is it yeah, a light bulb chain, for the human you know? form true right true. but would you work on something you're not comfortable with or something you don't want to work on what do you mean work on like if you are represented by like a bookshelf and your ai companion is like a battery well then... yeah but <laughs> let's say i want to make a big tt goth gf right based, okay. based why should i do based. a moth what should you what? Why should I do a muff? Why should you do a muff? Uh, uh, no one is telling you. Big titty uh, goth GF. You mm. like moths? No, no, no. Right. No. Um, and I think. I mean, you like that. Big titty goth GF muff. I think it's less about um, not having any ideas or concepts that are interesting. It's just that it's just a reflection of what we want, really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and what did you want? Anime girl. Okay. That's uh, about it. Base, base, base. Okay, okay, okay. You wanted an anime girl. Looks like she has a giant bust. Yep. With uh, is a, is kind of like uh, uh, in the form of a cow. Right? Yep. Okay, yeah. there you go. And what did Excelsis want? Judging. When an, uh, just a snake girl. Just like that. Snake girl. Something that looks okay. more like a snake. We could do that. And our man. I mean, with the legs, because uh, I like uh, the legs. I'm not a fan of the half body that a lot of snake girls have in anime, though. Uh, do you want a dragon maid thing where, like, the tail comes out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said... yeah like, it has, like, just the tail and stuff. Okay. And certain yeah. elements. It's easy to explain what you want. Like, our man, what did you want when it came to your v uh, AI companion? Uh, well, thick thighs. Thick thighs. <laughs> If only we could see them. Base, you know? base, base. <laughs> if only we could see them. Um, yeah. I mean, she has. Uh, she, you can kind of see them. Just not. Um. I can't. I can't tell if thigh size, judging by the top. Oh, there you go. Hey, <laughs> what's that over there? <laughs> um. And Rust, what did you want? Turn too much. Hmm. I just wanted a best friend, man. Yeah, but in terms of looks, I mean, your AI oh, companion like... is your mascot. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, anime girl, honestly, like, it, it just makes <laughs> no, sense in this world, dude. Yeah, it makes sense. To, it, it sounds like very vague just to say anime girl. Sure, okay, anime girl. Here's a, uh, here's a uh, Astolfo, you know, girl, right? Sure. You, it looks like a girl, you know. God damn it, Jim. <laughs> looks like a girl, you know. That's it. Yeah. That's all yeah. And yeah. Maybe... Yeah. There you go. So, so, so it's very vague. Okay. So. Ah, oh, man, I want to work with Russ on... I mean, I do like the package design sort of thing where you have, like, matching designs. I thought that was pretty cool. With the sashes. Even Which if that sashes? was intentional or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah Riza has sashes that said Riza, and you had a sash that said Russ, right? And it, it, in Japanese, it said Russ and Riza in your sweatshirts, right? Yeah, yeah. It did. Oh. Yeah, it was the old design. I see. I'm sure I that can. I like. Yeah, that is my favorite design so far, the purple sash one. I do have a question for you, though. Um, I am always uh, down to answer. <laughs> you're saying that uh, the band like Dead Ball is a bad design just because it's like a red ball with uh, yes, like this thing. 
Melba? No, no, no. The bands, the bands design like way for them. Just like waifu, this red waifu. thing with the with red ball. Waifu dev design. Oh, you mean the robot? Is a robot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is, well, like isn't robot. waifu dev like someone who like makes a bunch of other AI like YouTuber things? I forgot what you call them. For, like other people to use and. LLM. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who is this guy. I wonder mm -hmm. who is this guy. This is a mystery. No, but I'm just saying, like, um, I could, well, <laughs> you know, some people like to be a robot. And like, you know, you know how cool Pathfinder from Apex Legends looks. Like, come on, man. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure. Wife we did is a robot, so he's like, so what? <laughs> but you saying it's a bad design just because it's this, this red ball like thing robot uh is it a bad right. well is it a design uh, he came up with no no who came up with it someone in my chat ending and who made it ending and you just took yeah, it. ending is pretty cool and Navy technically, and those guys, technically other guys who make yeah. emotes technically it was Hilda the one who came to the design Hilda came with a design, how? Hilda doesn't draw? Damn, Nick. I think she came up with the idea of uh, of some kind of a dinosaur. Weird dinosaur, a cow, stuff like this. Oh, you're yeah, a dinosaur. Like, oh. no, yeah, I'm not a fan, a but man. yeah. You're not a fan? Who asked? <laughs> yeah, say that to my face, snake boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah. dude, dude, dude. We're not here to judge if we're a fan or not a fan. Yes, of this is a church street channel. Amongst, amongst each other. I could say, yeah, I kind of am like straying away from the AI things. Like, sure, I like Burnt Melba, but honestly, I'd rather hang out with Maya a lot more, you do, uh, than <laughs> be testing uh, Burnt's like almost uh, constantly. Because, hey, why not learn more about a human person that would one day die? <laughs> I mean, uh... Can you say that as if an AI, as if the circuits will not rust, as if the dude, power will not go out. With AI, you can the, reset the them. The connection the, will the, not... The life expectancy in AI VTubers is uh, surprisingly low. No, I get it. They're like, uh... It really is. Like failed clones. less than a year, probably. No, they drop like flies, of course. Hmm? That's why I'm human. Yeah, but that's, why I, cause that's why I kind of delayed money. on the whole AI mascot thing because I'm like, like Excelsis or uh, Whisper. I think it was either one, I forget. Who no, it's me, talking. but um, you can't tell to the main guy, uh, he's here. I am, but maybe you yeah, didn't he's know. Here. He, he's here, but like, if I really wanted to ch chat with someone, I just literally call anyone and say, Hey, let's chat. Like, I don't know. Like, I, it's kind of weird when I sit on stream, but I kind of do like uh, a weird human aspect of like, um, <laughs> knowing that people can reject <laughs> like an invite because I'd rather not just like boot up a program and be like, hey, here every single time. Nah. Yeah, it's like having a yes man. I get you, I get you completely. Uh, you, you, the, the, the horrific yes man is like, will listen to you, will respond to you, will, uh, maybe say the wrong response, but still respond to you. Imagine that. Why, why not have that one person who just like spaces out and be like, oh, sorry, what'd you say? I know yeah, you I think it's life story. But... I think it's one of the big downfalls of AI is that it's not autonomous enough or at least not self-aware enough to, to be able to make uh, their own decisions. Yeah, like true. And that's something they can never do because that's what a computer is. That's something I'm working on, I guess, but it's uh, something we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. I wonder how successful it is. I wonder if I could just chat about it like long enough. Like, I, the only thing I really look forward to. I better say never, though. Like, the only thing I look forward to when it comes to AI development is like their memory retention. Like, Melba forgets, like, in an instant that her and I are married. And I'm like, yeah, sure. But wow, one day she will remember. And that's when I will actually be surprised. Riza has remembered some pretty cool stuff. Like for how long? Um, 
as is Hilla. And Aelis. Aelis remembered, I like, and Mirai. Mirai remembered my stupid mosquito joke that I forgot about from, like, two streams ago or something. Really? About yeah. mosquitoes having riz because they go... <laughs> and then Aelis was, like, after I generated a song about her... Wait, 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 moon, wait, wait, wait. That wait, was a wait, meme wait. before. Wait, the whole mosquito joke. Did the AI yeah, it was mention, so stupid. you say it? Or did well, they yeah, just say it? It was like... No, it was like, I made it one stream, um, you turned it off, um, next week I come back, and Mirai says, Hey, Thundernug, you back with more mosquito, um, mosquito riz, or something like that? And I was like, oh, dang. It's so weird. I, you know, this whole, like, seeing AI learn is kind of <laughs> like looking at, a, like, an infant trying to speak. It's like, yeah, it's getting yeah. better, but at the same time, it's kind of like... The I thing mean, is, it never actually learns anything <laughs> when uh, we go into the, the scene of AI VTubers. Um, it's more, we find ways around problems, right? It's usually uh, something uh, something we do with prompt engineering, but usually it's, it's going to be in the form of uh, finding ways to to make it easy for the model to fetch certain type of data right and then get make can make the decision better but yeah the only thing you can do is wait for bigger models and better models to be released mm. in the meantime you just have to uh try to ease the uh the the job of uh, the llm i guess so. I, 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 yes yeah, yeah. i i, just, was, uh... I don't know something about at eating moon just like are you going to eat the moon again or something dumb but i think reza did remember some stuff from like within the same conversation that was kind of cool um but i forgot what else i was gonna say um something oh oh yeah speaking of mirai i think her little lore is kind of fun too that her um you know so that her uh dev is you know so-called missing and that she's going to give us hints on how to find them, and that mm. she can now chat as if she were a chat member and like live react to people's streams and comment on YouTube videos as part of that our reaction too. Something that is so interesting because in Pyramid is social mystery. I don't know what is what it is. It is an AI or a human for real. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know, they could always mask everything as a huge ARG, be like, oh, it was actually human on a lot. But that's cool, bots. though. That, that sounds. People that that's the other thing I was going to talk so about. Because, so like, deceptive. Come on. People, people can't distinguish the AI voices from human voices now. And so, like, how are we going to tell the audience that are, that these characters are not human? Um, are oh, they going no, to all be, like, designed to look like robots? Like, Aiko's um, voice and design is a lot more robotic than her first. Um, and I think that's a good way to do it. That is some intended For decision. Mirai. Um, her <laughs> way... I actually kind of like the way that Mirai does it, too. Because she starts every sentence with, Hey, humans! Without, like... If a human were doing that, they would have died of cringe long ago. At least, I but think that, that, so. That's what make her uh, special, though. Yeah. No, but for me, uh, I gotta make sure I brand my character more because uh, the, the VTuber I have right now, her name is Aiko, <laughs> and seeing an AI with the same name, oh, <laughs> it mm. feels so weird. Well, I mean, that oh, is very uh, so obscure. I think that is very so. Didn't you uh, make it a stream uh, before with uh, your Aiko? I, I've been this character for like over two years. No, I meant, did, did you uh, do a stream with it? No, I, ne I, I never, I don't know who Aiko is. Like the Overlord Aiko. I don't know who Overlord Aiko is. I don't know who owns them. Seems just like another like solo AI kind of thing. Right? They just nice. stream without. Um, Aiko uh, and Pladis have interacted together a bunch, right? I think they're doing a game Aiko's actually. Good at reacting to games. Yeah. So oh, I see. Well, but I mean, looks like we're reaching the two-hour mark here. 
So, yeah. uh, Roman, um, yes. what do you think? Damn, the thunder kicking out the people here. <laughs> well, I can say I mean, can, the podcast can... is usually pretty short. Uh, usually yeah. 30 minutes if it's pre-recorded. And about an hour for my own, normally, but... Hmm? I think this was a good run. Oh, yeah. fun. Yeah. I, I want to well, not thank you. Thank you guy. for having me on. And You're welcome. being this, uh, letting me talk and being this cool community, I... But yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you for being here. will... Um, uh, you know, succeed and yeah, everyone yeah. will. I mean, just because right now it's kind of scuff, I do definitely think it has potential. Um, as a when tool scuff, for both though. devs, collab partner, collab partners, and um, the audience to get to know new members of the community. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I think we can figure things out, and I think it's going to be awesome. We have a question in chat. Do you want to read it, uh, Xsus? What is the question? The last one? Question for you, love. Seeing as you are all different backgrounds and stuff, from what I've seen in streams, how do you guys mesh with one another so well? Uh, that's the secret that we don't. We hate each other. <laughs> yeah. The, that's the neat thing. We, we have no idea how. Uh, it just happened. <laughs> No, 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 it's just, uh, I guess being a streamer helps, like, for the... Those, I think for, like, we all people who don't talk a whole lot with other people. So, uh, in a yeah. sense, what we're doing right now is uh, quite the exercise. Yeah. So, it's something that's interesting, for sure. Yeah, no, I, uh, just like this, uh, you know, like the different opinions and... You just like to speak with people. I just like to speak with people. I, I, I would say that. I don't know you guys. You like just me. Yeah, I like hearing everyone's opinions, you know, because everyone has different ones. And as long as everyone's like open about it, I think it, you know, really invites a good discussion. So, yeah. Right. So, guys, do you, do you think it's a good idea, Khalid, that are you running out? Sure. Right. So, um, where we, who are we writing? Uh, I, I, I was discussing oh, with our Mirai members. and Burnt Melba are having a collab, I think. <laughs> um, and Aiko was on yeah, last I, I watched. Hmm. Hmm. Let, let me see. Devan, do you have anyone in the specific you, want, you would like to write? Um, Mitsura has been alive for three hours. So, um, well, I don't know who they're going to, to raid afterwards. Yeah, but, but I, I was If they're going to raid with uh, Burnt Melba afterwards. Well, it's, mm. it's, it's technically the same, okay? Oh. I'm not uh, going to make judgments here. Nico's live, though, as well. I don't know. I don't know what they think. There's too many of them. They need to be exterminated. <laughs> you know, uh, June is live. What, what do you think? Mm. Vettel. <laughs> Yeah, let's read Vedal. Uh, yeah, he has like uh, what the seven K people. Yeah, he's totally gonna read the uh, raid. He'll raid us back for sure. Yes, definitely. Right, 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 right. <laughs> definitely. Does Vedal even know you guys exist? Uh, <laughs> uh, I know for sure he doesn't know, know me. Um, Yuru and um, Devin both used to be mods, right? Or still are? No, I'm not. I, I never was. Oh, okay. I think... I know you oh, right. You know what I think is, I think he actually knows the band. But just because he lurks in uh, Alex's chat. But mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, who are we going to raid? Or... Or... You know what we can, cool. we can do, guys? If we can decide, we can always spin the wheel. Spin, spin the wheel. <laughs> Um, <laughs> does anybody favor? I favor the chat. Spin. 
the first one who says any name we have to raid. Go. Hey, AI Jesus. Go, 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 go. Oh, AI hey, Jesus, though. Oh. No. Oh, I okay, hate no. AI Jesus. No. He gives me the creeps. <laughs> no. We, we, need, we need some Jesus here, though. You, you need some Jesus. I'll go I need Jesus? You need some Jesus. I you have Jesus. Mini Commu in chat. Are you guys okay Mini with reading? Uh, I guess reading. Hmm. It's like Sorry, a girl, French I am assume. Up. What is it? It is massive. Uh, I, I, I hope uh, it, it is nice and don't lead us to a 5k like uh, a <laughs> stream where they already will be missed. It's the fault Maybe of my This cost. is something I should have mentioned earlier, but I don't like it when the AI impersonates real people. I mean, unless it's the president's playing video games or doing stuff like that. But if it's like a, if it's like the the AI Athene thing, I, I don't know. I never liked that. I thought it was creepy. I never heard of that. Honestly, I'm gonna say I find it funny as fuck. Yeah, but AI Jesus though. Mm -hmm. As long as long as it's. As long as it's upfront about, uh, about the fact that it's AI, I think it's fine. Generally. Yes, yeah, Wasn't there an AI get priest that got there, um, <laughs> got like demoted or whatever? It, it, there was like a news article about it or something crazy. So, do we now have, have a raid target or. Mini Camille said but it, it seems like a small stream as well. So, I think it is cool. Ray message, Ray message is lately. I'm gonna type it. Uh, I think that's a good Ray message unless you came with something more creative than that. Mm, no. So much ego, so much ego. Never change. Thank you for thank you for that. Mm. Someone ask their AI for the raid message, please. <laughs> <laughs> there is a no. problem with my AI dev. I think it's a problem it will, with my it will AI take well. 30 minutes. So, they please fix. They want please fix. Error. Podcast.exe has stopped working. That's not good. I mean, that will be interesting. So, Arman, um, are we ready to read? Well, read is already done, so. Yeah. Right. Thanks everybody for joining the stream Thank and you. of course also everybody who's going to listen to this later because this will yes. be also available on Spotify, Amazon Music, <laughs> Google, yeah, Google gonna, Podcasts gonna doesn't everywhere. exist anymore. <laughs> I, basically everywhere. If you have yeah. if you can, can watch listen to podcasts, you will listen to this. So yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye. Adios, adios, adios. Adios, adios. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Just want to thank y'all for organizing this. It was a pleasure being here. Uh, no problem, yeah. man. No problem. Thank you, Roman. <laughs>